Hi folks, in this video I'm going to assemble this suit and tie or shirt and tie card, however you'd like to do it. So if you'd like to see how I assemble it, please keep watching. Um, you'll probably notice that I've used really high contrast colors and the reason why I did that was so that it would show up better in the video for assembling. Um, but of course you can use as contrasting or as bright or as subtle as you like. It all depends on you your style and the personality of the person you're giving it to. So you should definitely make them your own. So let's go ahead. I always start with my envelope and as you can see I've done some of the pre-layering just to avoid having a really long video. So for the envelope I'm going to get my bone folder and I'm just going to give a nice crisp fold to all the score lines. Once again, I've done the video in, in the envelope in two parts. There we go. What did I see here? A little snag. Now that your score lines are done, you're going to want to glue the wings on the outside. Use a tape runner or liquid glue, whatever you are most comfortable working with. And we just fold that up and make sure it's nice and straight. There we go. Fold it all down. And now we're going to take the flap, run some tape glue along the fold. And we'll just line that up nice and straight and fold it over. And there you have your envelope. I like to do them in two colors. I find they're more attractive. So we'll put that aside. We don't need that anymore. And here's the card. Um, so what you're going to have is your the card itself folded, the insert and the layers for the front of the card. You have a pocket in two layers that I've added a little brad to to make it a little more decorative. And for this pocket, you can use the pieces for the pocket hanky that I've included. Or another fun way to do it would be just to use glue just slightly around the edges and use it as a gift card holder. That would be really fun too if you're planning to give a gift card. So that would be cute. Just press down really firmly on the brad if you attach one so that it doesn't interfere with the inside of the pocket. And you have your collars. So what I did to make sure I got my tie in the right place was I lined up my collars and I just took a Cricut gold pen and made a little dot on the card, which you won't see because you're going to cover over it anyway with the tie. So that's how I lined up my collar. So for the tie, you have two pieces. You have the top piece that resembles a knot and you have the length of the tie. So we can go ahead and put those together. I'm gonna to put some adhesive on the top piece. and I'm going to attach the length to it because it'll be easier to line up and glue all in one piece. And then we'll just run some glue along there, some tape runner or liquid glue if you prefer to work with liquid glue. And we'll just line up with the little finger and with the little ink mark that I made on the card. And then we'll attach the collars Line those up. Oops. There's one collar. And actually, if you wanted to, you don't really have to do a suit style. You could just make it a shirt style, perhaps use some printed paper instead of the solid colors. 
There you go. There's the collar. If you do it as a shirt style, you could also add some little decorative buttons or something to the shirt collar to make it look like a button down. And then you have the two pieces of the collar, which I've done in layers also, so that you can see the contrast of the suit collar so that it'll pop out. There we go. We're going to put them like that. I could have used actually a more contrasting tie so it would show better in the video. But I like the blue and gray, so I went with that. Let's put this one on first. That makes more sense. I'll attach this one first straight on the top and it's cut on an angle so it should line up perfectly for you and this one that I've already glued will go on top and there you go if you see a little extra on the bottom you can just snip it off if you don't line up perfectly so there's the suit collar with the suit and the tie. I should have used a different color tie so that you could see it easier in the photo. But I didn't. So we'll put together a little hanky just with a little bit of tape because I'm going to use the hanky. Just add a little tape runner to it. And we'll line it up. Center it. There we go. There's your tape runner. There's your pocket hanky. And we'll just add some tape runner to this. So they're actually really easy cards to make. So I hope you like it. I hope you'll make some. Please make it your own. Change it up any way you'd like to. And post pictures so I can see what a wonderful job you've done. Thank you for watching.